about five minutes. Um, but <laughs> ah, all right. Welcome to the news. That's correct. All right. Um, I guess I should get. I guess I should get this in place. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I might have just screwed something up. There. Good morning. So what's up? Uh, all right. Negative three dB. Of course, always, man. <laughs> it's awesome. I like that. Oh, he changed. Is that always been his name? I mean, yeah, I, I always. I, I recognize the picture. Yes. Or, yeah. <laughs> This is like Andrew always calls me right when we start this show live. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, I should know to put my phone on vibrate. How are you doing this morning? Tired. How's the weather? I came in uh, real early, so I didn't get to see the weather. Well, today it's uh, 87 degrees. At 9 yeah, o'clock? <laughs> Let's say 87, really? Are you sure it's not 90 no. yet? <laughs> We're going through no. a particularly hot point right now. Oh, this is like this Florida, man. But that's the news. That's all. That's that's the weather report for today. Uh, we'd like to thank Ground Zero again for being the sponsor of the show. Uh, you can find them at GroundZero.com or GroundZeroUSA.com. Mm -hmm. There you can find all kinds of cool stuff, um, which they consequently made it into the news this morning. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the news. Yes. Yeah, let me let me get to that picture. Let me. I should make this bigger so I can actually see it, cause or label these things. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Yes. All right, let's go full screen on this. We're still working out the bugs here, guys. There's a lot of bugs over here, so yeah. I don't even know how to go full screen on this. Jeez, oh man. Are you okay? I don't know what I'm doing. You just... Yeah, I'm just going to show this. Bit. All right, here there we go. go. So Ground Zero is releasing new 2020 products. As if they haven't come out with enough stuff already. Yep. We have the new reference series no. speaker. I'm oh, jeez, I don't Radio know. Radioactive. Yes. It's early, so you know we, we get forgiven for this. Yeah, eighty-seven hundred percent community. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, so they come out with an update to the reference series, and now they have coaxials, uh, which I think is the big point of this. Um, they have, of course, the four, the five and a quarter, the six and a half, and the six by nine. Six by nine looks like a four-way. Everything else is a three-way. This is a welcomed addition because I believe in this line they just had the component system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the system that we have in Gabby's car. Yep. And this was important because at the time they didn't have the radioactive coaxial, Correct. so they had to give us a step down. Mm -hmm. So they'll be sending us a set of six and a half to put in the back of Gabby's car, which is really exciting. You know, the, the one thing I like about Ground Zero um, is the diversity of the line. Like they have so many. Oh, oh my god yeah, you know it's like... and, and it's it's uh, okay so but that's normal like so if you compare it to let's say like Hertz Hertz is the same way they have this giant line where they yeah where they kind of hit every every mark in the audio industry so I think ahead. most of these manufacturers have a tons of lines well no they okay look at it like this though so what I'm getting at is like the SPL guys. Mm -hmm. The SPL guys like loudspeakers. Yeah. Okay, JL doesn't make loudspeakers. No. Rockford used to, they stopped. Correct. Kicker has said they're not going to, although I will say the marine speakers are basically loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. um, so they are one, one foot in, one foot They're one foot, foot in, one foot yeah. out, just depending on what you're going to do with it. But they don't want it in a car, they're perfectly okay with it outside, which Correct. makes sense because you're not trapped inside the environment with it. Whereas Ground Zero makes from the SPL guy to the affordable, you know, I, I just want an upgrade Entry in my level. factory. Mm -hmm. um, the mid-fi guy, yeah. which is like where a lot of us are at. Yep. And then the hi-fi guy yes. with like, only dreams are made of these things. Oh yeah. This is where pixie dust and, and you know, so it's like, and they have amplifiers to boot. Oh yeah, I feel the the Ground Zero has like you know I just start in car audio and then I'm like I you have so many yeah. years in car audio and it's like I have a lot of money in car audio and then it's like I got 
crazy money in car audio right there. Yeah, so. and it's it's there's there's only a handful of lines that yes. do that. And the only thing mm -hmm. that I can think of that comes close to that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there's there's some out there that we don't oh, really yeah. talk about, yeah, but yeah. in our world. You know, the closest thing to that is going to be Hertz. Mm -hmm. But Hertz nowhere competes on the ground zero line because uh, because of the Hertz Audison relationship, you'd have to combine both of those lines to get to where ground zero yep. is. Yep. But, anyways, back to this. For those of you interested in an affordable, that mid fi line that we were talking about, the Radioactive Series, now has coaxial, so you can get the coaxial component series. New for 2020. They also have that 8 inch too, that's pretty cool. Yes, the new 8 inch subwoofer, um, it's nice. Um, hopefully hopefully we'll get one of those. Hopefully we get one of those so that's I can put it in the car because I have a perfect box for that. I'm no, you, it is the perfect box I'm for that saying, because... You know? um, uh, but yeah, they, they come out with the new 8, I forgot what's the name of that. Well yeah, um, it's, but it's, it's check, okay. Check it's them out. Anyway. Yeah, alright. Now also, can you, do you know yeah. where these went? Yeah, can course. you grab those? Uh, also in the news today, I don't know why I hit the power button on my computer instead of the power button on the switcher, is Soundstream. For those of you guys that remember Soundstream from days of old, they're owned by a company now called Epsilon. And Epsilon has decided that they, they don't want to just be a one style amplifier manufacturer. They want to come out with a... Mm, Brazilian style amplifier. So these are the first in that series. These are going to be the Brazilian style amplifiers that they make. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have here, I have the big one. This one is definitely hammer. This says it's a 12,000 watt amp, and yours is a four channel, which says it's a 3,500 watt amp. Yeah. Um, they have several amplifiers in the line. Correct. This is the look. This is the press release. Let me go back to. This is a press release and we already have it. Yeah, we already have it, they like us. Um, so we have six amplifiers in the line. Yep. We have a two, two channel, a four channel. We have a, another mono block, which is, here, why don't you open this one up real quick and we'll actually show it with the size of one. Uh, we have the 1.300, or I'm sorry, 1.3500, the 6,000, the 12,000, which we have here, and then an 18, thousand D and notice it doesn't say watts although on the box they do say the box, wattage they tell you um, the wattage it comes with the base knob okay. it does come with the base knob but this is the amplifier here so this is the size of the 12,000 has a zero gauge input it comes with a mount it's really tall this is the one thing that kind of struck me out of this is how tall the amplifier is um, but if you'd like to see more of this amplifier up close, make sure you tune in to the Saturday show where we'll dive in with the Fernando cam and give you guys a close up view yeah. of these. But if you're a Soundstream fan and you like the idea of a Brazilian style amplifier, then, well, Soundstream has them and they are very affordably priced and we'll just leave it at that. Uh, you guys know what that means. Yeah. Um, so we're still on that. Let's go back to, I just want to scroll over that. This one is kind of cute. Like how small it is? Yeah. Because I mean, it's probably. But, uh, I'm gonna be. I think know. it's gonna be the same. Well, it's the same height. It's, it's, it's same almost height. the same height as yes. width. But I think that one's probably gonna be the most popular. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can get into that one, and it's small, it's compact. So, like the four channel in that one would probably a really nice, reasonably priced five channel with yep. lots of power. So if you're going for that, like loudspeaker stereo on a budget kind mm -hmm. of thing. I yeah. think that would probably fit the bill. Um, but yeah, yeah. that's, that's, that's All right, that. so check Soundstream Hold on. for anything that you guys going to need. All right, I got, I got one more store here that I want to okay. get, and then we can jump into what you got. So we talk about this manufacturer quite a bit, which yeah. is... Yeah, we have some product from them. We do have some product from them, and we mm -hmm. had them on the show. And this is one of the okay. So we'll just get to it. Power Base. Um, it was funny because I was trying to. Rem I was someone was asking about something the other night, and I, for the life of me, could not remember. I remember base, but I couldn't remember power because you know you know how my mind is. Oh. Wow. Um, but they've come out with, and this is funny. This speaker right here is the four-inch Bose speaker from yes. the '80s and '90s. Yes. Okay. So this was in like every. 
every Bose system that came out in the 80s and 90s had this speaker. Bose made one speaker and that was it. You built your system around putting this four inch. It sucked because it was like this tiny speaker and, and they would always fall apart and they'd always dry rot and they'd always just be crappy and you'd have to find something to go in that. And they would always countersink it so you could never, like you couldn't put a four in there. Yeah. Because a four was a little bit too small plus you didn't have the right screw holes. So it was just like, there is some, I can tell you right now, if you were an installer back in the 80s or 90s and a car came in with bows and the speaker was, there was some butchery that went on to get those things in there. Mm. There's no question about it. There was some severe butchery that happened to get those. And now, Powerbase yep. is decided to, and I love how they have the 350Z right there because that was the option of the 350Z. You could get it non-bows or bows. Okay. And it would have four of those in there, which were in the rear was funny because you could fit a six and a half in the rear. That was the non-factor, the non-premium system came with a six and a half. But if it was bows, it came with four of those. So it was like, and wow. you know, everyone would always want to do the conversion. And so, you, you know, it's like you have to cut it out of wood because we weren't using plastic back then to put a six and a half. You got, and to change the speakers in that car, if you had bows, it was easy because they had these little tiny grills that mm -hmm. covered the speakers. Yeah. But if it had the factory six and a half, you had to pull the whole back of the car out. And it was like one. Oh, wow. It, it was like one of the first, like, I hate you uh, installations that you'd run into because you were just like, man, this sucks. Yeah. But one of the reasons I like Powerbase is for this right here. They are the masters of factory fit. And they sound good, and they're reasonably priced. A uh, guy asks, they always ask, hey, I wanna do a simple upgrade on my car. Well, Powerbase is something to consider, especially because you don't have to buy any of the brackets. Oh, my bad. You don't have to buy any brackets, you don't have to buy any speaker adapters, you don't have to buy anything. So, new coming out are all the GMs. So you have that weird GM six and a half, mm -hmm. here's the new four inch, you have a standard five by seven, six, six by, by eight, eight. Uh, yeah. standard four by six. So they do have standard sizes for cars that yeah. still take a standard size. Yeah. They have a, a set of components, but here is the new GM six by nine. Correct. With two and a half inch uh, middler, as it were. Mm -hmm. Here is the- Nissan. Nissan six and a half with tweeter. Like nobody makes that. Nobody no. makes that. <clears throat> uh, we also have the other component six and a half for GM. That's new coming out. The component six by nine for GM. The Nissan coaxial, of course, just a standard. Now this is cool because this is this a six, is six by, by nine, nine dual voice Ooh. coil woofer. I'm excited about that one. Okay. Yeah. Because nobody makes this. Yep. This is something that is you run into every now and then in these factory systems and you're like, what do you do? No, and some customers they don't want like no. they just blow the speaker they or want they, they, they simple. It's just simple. like listen, I, I just don't... want something simple. <laughs> I you want to spend money. I I drive from the morning to my job, yeah. listen to the music or listen to the news, whatever. I don't want nothing crazy. Boom, right there. That's the perfect. Yeah. Um, so the new also that I think these are shipping now uh, mm -hmm. is all the Ford. So we have the Ford 6x9 component, the Ford 6.5 component, the Ford 6x9 coaxial, as well as the 6 by I'm sorry, yeah, 6x9 and 6.5 and coaxial. So you have a whole line of those. And onto the next page, you have the rest of the Toyotas, which, you know, everyone is making a Toyota, right? Like Toyota came out first. Yeah, um, but that was, you have that was Toyota and F one fifty. Well, F one fifty just came out with. Oh no, that did come out. No, they yeah, came yeah, out that's right. before. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay, my bad. Because we have the we have no, the six and a half coaxials. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking of another manufacturer that just came out with those two. Yeah, uh, which we should we should probably talk about them next week. Yeah. Um, but you have the Toyota sizes, obviously coaxials and six by nines, and then this is another one of those weird ones. You have an ultra thin which is cool. So cool this range. is like for those SC430s, even though that's just a mid-base, it's mm -hmm. an ultra thin, or the, the, the Chryslers. Yeah. Because Chryslers, you can't put a deep six by nine in the door. Um, that's why those new Kenwoods work so well, is because they're shallow. Uh, but you have an ultra thin six by nine, and then this weird guy, which is the seven inch mid-range, that's two ohm. Mm -hmm. 
So this is one of those other weird subwoofer mid-bass replacements that is very utilitarian and very like... Maybe like in a Mazda, I, you know, it, it's like a big... weird. I mean, it has the odd hole pattern. We have a set of these. Mm -hmm. We played with them. Um, but yeah, that that's, uh, that's new in the news. Uh, I like the brand. I think it's fun to talk about. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, not, every, not everything has to be top of the line or you have to create speaker brackets and all that stuff they give you everything so yeah you can talk about that i was going to but yeah. i was i was taking a quick break what do you have oh i just want to uh let you guys know that for the people who have been asking for the alpine dsp uh 12 channel it's released like it's already shipping uh this first of the month they start shipping it so you guys can head off to your local dealer uh, and ask for that. Really? Yeah. I know we got the six channel in. Mm -hmm. The six channel <clears throat> came in this week. Yeah. So we have that in stock. It's on the wall. It's huge. Yes, it is. It's, it's huge. gigantic. Yes. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's an odd size. It's not going to follow suit with the rest of the, <clears throat> um, the amplifier line. One? No. But it's this giant. Maybe we'll grab one and bring it in the show. Either. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe twelve Saturday in, twelve or... out. Ooh. Twenty-four channels, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that yet. No. I, I don't think that was even on order. No, um, I'm just kidding. For those of you that are playing at home and following along on the industry uh, awards as far as Installer of the Year, Trusted Tech, and stuff like that, uh, last night we got an update to oh, wow. the runnings. If you guys really? haven't voted yet, please, please go out and vote. Uh, if not for us, for somebody you may know. Whether you're in industry, out of industry, if you're a fan, there is categories for everything. Just come over here to where it says voting open. If you're a consumer, select consumer. If you're an in industry, select industry. If you know anybody in the industry, make sure you call them and have them vote. But right off the top of the lift, Mobile Toys, which is MTI, uh, which has been a sponsor of the show and previous- yes, beautiful uh, boxes is, that you guys been seeing, yeah. So how this works is you're trying to get into the top 12. Mm -hmm. uh, after top 12, it all resets back to zero and you start over, but you have to be in the running into the top 12 to make it for retailer of the year. So up now, uh, right at the top, dude, big, big move. A Double big for right everybody there. is Mobile Toys, yeah. Elevated Audio, Divine Concepts, who's Adam Divine down in Naples. Yep. Um, traffic jams, Apicilla, ah, Apicilla. Nick Apicilla, uh -huh. uh, Apicilla, my bad, yeah. sorry Nick, uh, Absolute Electronics, uh, my, my buddy Ada, yep. who's on the show, and <clears throat> quite, you know, and, and you know, I'm not saying vote for him, but you know, vote for him, um, and as a consumer, you can vote for him too, Titan, so our guys out there in Nashville, Tennessee, my buddy Donnie, uh, Carlos Ramirez is MVS, Certified Auto Sounds, Sound Effects, that's, um, Delaware, uh, more, um, Maddie. Maddie. Maddie, yeah. the real Maddie. The real Maddie. Uh, yeah. Innovative Concepts. They were the winner last year. Mm -hmm. Sound Effects won last year. Handcrafted is in 13th place. So right now it's between Innovative Concepts and Handcrafted to see uh, how it goes, who's right. going to bump up. Moving on to the Installer of the Year Top 12, mm -hmm. Marty Andercheck. Ander Adam, oh God, I'm sorry. We'll just call him Marty. Yeah. Um, and not the other. This is the other Marty. This is the Canadian Marty. Yep. Um, which over uh, there in Canada. I actually talked to him last night. Oh really? Yeah, we were yeah, we were cool. talking for a couple minutes last night. We met him in California. Really nice yes. guy. Very yes. good fabricator. Very nice. uh, he's doing really well. Uh, Eight point twelve percent of the votes. Matt Val of Mobile Toys. So he's one of uh, MTI guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of knew he was going to be there. He's really good. And then third place here is me. Come on, guys, really vote. I mean, I'm like half. Oh wow. Um, Jesse. Yeah. Of Boomers Audio in Oklahoma. We got Phil in Elevated Audio. John Brettel of uh, Cartoons, who's the laser guy. He's the yeah. one that uh, made that cool five star laser thing for us. He's Mr. Glowforge himself. Yes. Of Car Cartoons of Atlanta. Really nice guy. Nick Frazier, who was the winner last year of Trusted, Trusted Tech. Tech. Mm -hmm. Adam Devine, like we said, there of Divine Concepts in Naples, Florida, front of the front of the show, front of the store, front of mine. Uh, Christopher of Vibe Car Audio. Christopher McNulty made it into the top ten so far. So he's over there at Kingpin, formerly of Driven. Mm -hmm. um, good friend of the show. Uh, Aaron of Car Toys Denver, Michael Bischoff, or as we like to commonly refer to him as Biscuit. Yep. Uh, there again in Atlanta, another close friend of mine, Traffic Jams. 
Uh, Nick Apostol is coming in at 14 right now, so there's still plenty of room on the board for people to move around. Yes. I think we're at the halfway point. Um, but That's come on, guys, let's get out there and vote. Let's get out there and vote. Uh, trusted tech wise, uh, that's where I'm shining apparently right now. Hey, so I, I'm, hey, a, I'm number that's... one at Trusted Tech. Uh, then we have Marty, uh, who's the number one of the installer. Nick Fraser, who said was the winner last year. John Brettel, one of my competitors last year. Uh, Phil, and there again, Matt. So this is a top five. So this only counts for the top five. Um, so top five's looking strong. And then top three of the rookies, you have. Um, Saul. Yeah, thank just you. Go bow for Oscar. Oscar, it's it's it's. Yes, uh, Fernando's friend Oscar here is at number two. He's he's. Remember, you only get, you got to make it into because uh, you still have to submit a video after this, so you just have to be in the top three to be a contender. So mm -hmm. right now he's good, but uh, if you want to vote, if you're in industry and want to vote for the rookie, Fernando's pushing him, and then of course Timothy of Innovative Concepts. Innovative Concepts all over this this year, mm -hmm. so uh, he works with Nick. Uh, and of so course, um, somebody say, oh, Victor says, I know you mentioned the website uh, before, but can you please repeat the website? It is meindustryawards.com. So meindustryawards.com. If you just Google Installer of the Year Car Audio, uh, the mobile electronics industry will come up. Usually there'll be a video of me or something silly like that. If you're not working for a company, you go and, and yeah, select you go voting. Voting open and you do consumer voting. You if go. you're in industry or a spouse of someone in industry, yep. you can do voting from industry. <sighs> good times, good yeah. times. All right. All right, another thing that I was uh, about to talk about Alpine is they releasing uh, a brand new HDR front cameras and rear cameras. Oh, the high res? Uh, yeah, it's the HDR. So, I don't you have a lot of information. Yeah, Eric, Eric. talking about them? Yep. Maybe we'll, we'll cover those next week. We'll, we'll get some pictures up. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, uh, for you guys that like K40 Raiders, K40 is introducing New portable radar laser detector with remote control. Because that's what we need while we're driving. Going really fast, but with remote control from a radar detector. <laughs> oh, no, it's before you set it up. It's like... Uh, right uh, can so, I change the channel on that one? Yeah. Um, last story in the news. This one's kind of nice. Uh, your friend and mine, Mr. Steve Irby, who is, if you don't know, he is the owner of Kicker Car Audio. So Stillwater Designs is actually the name of the company, even though Kicker is their big brand. He was nominated for a Leading Edge Award. Uh, this is somebody, this has to do with entrepreneurship, and he is a true entrepreneur. Uh, the story is very cool. Um, it is in the Profile magazine of Stillwater Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. Um, can't read. Got to flip him up. But basically, you know, it's talking about his volunteering at the local college. They're right down the street from the college there, so he volunteers there, talking to classmates about entrepreneurship. I know they're a big supporter of the college. They donated a huge audio system for their movie editing and, and sound lab, which we spotlighted in our tour of the facility. But this is a guy that, he's he's been doing this forever. He's the nicest guy. If you ever have the opportunity to meet him, you'll be like, oh my God, this guy's the nicest guy in the world. He sits on top of an empire that is probably the biggest in car audio right now. Um, you can go visit them in non-COVID world. You can go to the headquarters and check out the museum they have there in the front. And if you're lucky, he might be walking around and stop and say hi. He frequently likes to just say hi to the fans. And um, he's a great guy. And this is nice that they did a write-up about him. Um, I've, of course, had the opportunity to interview him once on camera and talk to him privately several times. I've been to his house. I've met his wife. Uh, he's, just, he's just a super guy. I mean, like, nice guy. super guy. Yeah. Um, so, if you know, I, it's cool. I, and, you know, and, and the funny thing is he's a real private guy. Um, so for them to actually get the opportunity to write something about him, I'm sure they didn't tell him. I'm sure they, I mean, I mean, that picture is clearly, like, somebody had to provide them with, like, a copy photo or something because 
he just doesn't he doesn't want accolades he doesn't like i had to when i was doing the interview and i wanted to find out information about him i had to search like a deep dive almost into the dark web to find mm -hmm. anything there is about him um it's okay yeah no 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 i'm just gonna bring something else um because like there was there was nothing about him yeah um and so it was really cool to have that time to spend with him now what fernando's bringing over here oh you know what we gotta do real quick yeah let's, let's do that um so while we're talking about this next product on the table here to get your ground zero mug what brand what series of ground zero equipment is new for 2020 that we just they talked just came about, out just talked about and i can tell you right now it's not the eight inch sub so what series of speaker line just came out in coaxials we talked about it at the front half of the show first person with the answer will be getting this mug sent to you we still have one mug after this mm -hmm. but uh an update to a previous story was morel last week we talked about how morel was coming out with the new elite carbons and what showed up yesterday was a set of elite carbons so there's going to be two versions of the speaker as we talked about um, if you want to know more about it, we did a quick unboxing yesterday. There'll be a full unboxing on the channel, on the other channel, Five Star Cartier, in a little bit. But just to here, hold that, just to give you an idea of what you're looking at, this is the new speaker here. They are shipping. You can now pick them up. Um, I do recommend if you're not on Instagram, head over to Instagram and watch our Instagram TV. Yesterday we do yeah. a. 10 minute unboxing of these and we talk about them, but they are available now. Mm -hmm. Everyone always asks, what's the price? What's the price? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, suffice it to say, this is uh, the second one from the top as far as flagships go. So they're gonna be expensive. Of course you know, Tommy. Uh, is Tommy who there? Tommy who? Tommy who? Um, yeah. Yes, they are coaxials, they are coaxials. What, what is the, the series? series? Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. And um, you're going to get a, these beautiful yellow, black, white mug. Really nice. <laughs> there you go. And we have the winner. All right, Michael. Michael. Michael, what I need you to do is send me an email to... Because I don't know. Car Stereo Talk. That's Car Stereo Talk at yahoo.com. Send me an email. Tell me who you are, which we'll know. And to Car Stereo Talk at yahoo.com. And I mm -hmm. will tell you what to do from there. We'll do don't the tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ada, slow it down. And you will be getting in a short time, which I just got. So for any of you guys that are following along, you've won one already and you haven't gotten it yet. Slow it down. Um, we just got the boxes in. I had to order special boxes. Uh, all you past winners and this winner, grab the... We, we're going to be throwing something on the inside of this. We just got in yesterday with our morel stuff, one of those. Um, because it is the COVID season, uh, morel sent us these, which I think are super sexy. They're hand sanitizer and 45th anniversary little Morel bottles. Ooh, and it smells. It smells? Oh yeah, it smells like lemony fresh. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we'll be throwing a bottle of these in the cup with you. So, and there'll be uh, other little tchotchkes too, uh, as there always is if you've ever won anything from us. We always kind of, you know, throw some stuff in there that we got laying around and make sure everyone gets cool stuff. So that was Car Stereo Talk at yahoo.com. You can always go back and watch it. And guys, guess what? That brings us to a half hour. That was the news. That was it. That was all the news that we have for you today. Mm -hmm. If you see a story throughout the week that you'd like us to cover, by all means, drop us a line. Hit us up on Facebook. You can even email us at that email that I gave and say, hey, I saw this. I wonder if you'd like to talk about it. Tom, and Mr. Tommy, thank you so much. He just put the link, right? I mean, the... The, the link, the email. So The email, yep. Spam, here it comes. Now, um, but yeah, you can email <clears throat> us and uh, we'll check out the story. If it's something we think is cool and something we can talk about, we will definitely talk about it. And with that, it's Friday. You guys have a great rest of your day. Please go out and vote. That's meindustryawards.com or just Google Installer of the Year and yeah. you'll find us. It's great fun, Fernando, and the show. All right, guys. On to the next one. Bye. Bye.